Hey guys, Guitar Pilgrim here, and today is a bit of a special video, and I know I say that at the beginning of each video, but this week I actually became a father of a lovely, beautiful baby daughter. How is that? That's incredible, right? So, if I look a bit exhausted and sleep deprived and tired over the next coming few weeks or months or so, you know why that is. Anyway, for today's video, because of the passing of Phil Spector, I thought it might be nice to do one of his greatest hits that he wrote and produced. I will first play it, and then I will take you through all the details and show you how to do it. There you go, that was a small part from Be My Baby by the Ronettes, produced by Phil Spector. And, I don't know, it's a bit awkward to do a video on Phil Spector. You know, on the one hand, we have a musical genius who changed the music industry, yeah, fantastic, the wall of sound. And on the other hand, he was also a convicted murderer, and by all accounts, a rather wicked individual. So, it's kind of like listening to Michael Jackson nowadays. You know, Billie Jean is forever brilliant, but... You don't want to think about what might or might have not happened in the background. So what we're going to do is we're just going to focus on the music in this video and just let that speak for itself. Now the verse of this song, Be My Baby, has only three chords, incredibly simple, anyone can play it. And rather than just doing your regular strumming along with the chords, you want to see if you can play the melody that's buried within those chords, like this. Such an incredible simple melody. And by the way, I especially love the way it is sung on the record. Ronnie Spector, her voice, when you listen very carefully, it's not pitch perfect what she, she's doing, but it has tons of personality. I mean, thank God they didn't have auto-tune in those days. It would have totally destroyed the whole record, right? Now, when you have this melody, well, that sounds nice, but it's rather empty, isn't it? So what you want to do is you want to add a bit of rhythm to it. Now here's that rhythm pattern that I'm using, just only on the chords and not yet any melody or anything. As you can tell, I include a little strum in there every second and fourth beat with my middle finger, but you can also use your index finger, whichever you prefer. Now, if you can do that, then you want to see if you can gel together the melody and this rhythmic pattern, and that should create something like... He wasn't um, the most friendly guy I've ever met. He tried to be friends, but then he would had a gun on him and he may, wouldn't let me out of his house for a couple days and, you know. And after this very short verse, we have the pre-chorus, which is a great example of tension and release. You can tell a note like this in the melody that just has a lot of tension, doesn't it? As we call a dissonant note. Dissonant has a lot of tension. And the notes that are pleasant to the ear we call consonant. And the great melody, which this obviously is, continuously has dissonant notes that desperately want to resolve to consonant notes.
So it's continuously tension and release, tension and release. That's all a great melody is. And just to show you, how would it sound if you would create a melody that would only have pleasant notes, pleasant to the ear? On paper that sounds great, right? Well, in this song you would get this. I mean, you, you can hear the difference. That sort of works, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't nearly as interesting, right? If you only use consonants, pleasant notes. You know, music is kind of like life. If everything forever and ever is pleasant, that might be convenient, but it doesn't make a very interesting life, does it? Well, neither does it make an interesting piece of music. You need pain in order to have the beauty. You cannot have one without the other. One day, when he didn't want to work one night, he called me and said, the studio's been burnt down. <laughs> In the early days, I didn't know about him, you know. I didn't know how far away he was. And when we finally get to the chorus, we start to hear a second melody done by the backup singers. They do... And so on. And of course, on top of that, we have the main melody, which is... And... And then, of course, then... <laughs> nice ending, by the way. You want to put those two together with, of course, the rhythm, remember? back all the way to the beginning and this is the entire song verse pre-chorus chorus that's it now it can be quite quite difficult to play even for advanced guitarists so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play it quite a bit slower so you can see exactly what I'm doing don't forget that you can find the tabs for this song on my patreon site grab your guitar here we go 